Welcome to March Madness Minute number 17. Today we're going to continue to look at Google Classroom and specifically assignments. So some things to note. With an assignment you can have students create just like pulling out a blank sheet of paper. They're just creating from scratch and they can choose any file type in Google. You can also have students add a document. That's something they've already created and this works really nice for camera rolls. So if you have students using iPhones or iPad it's a great way to upload photos or videos. And as a teacher, you can also attach something. And when you attach something to an assignment, you have some options as well. A view-only document is really nice for passing out directions or rubrics or passages that you want students to read. They can't make any changes to the document. An edit document um, means the entire class is actually in one space single document so all the kids can see what each other are typing and then the last option when you are attaching something is do you are you wanting to create a copy for every individual student in your class and it will also name it with their name and so we're going to jump over to Google Classroom and yesterday we looked at announcements today we're going to look at assignments and if I click on assignment let's see I'm going to um, colony project sign up and I don't have to include more information here. I can if I want to. The due date, so I'm going to say this is due, well, we'll say today. And then I can even add a time if I want to, but I don't need to. And you can attach something from your hard drive. I'm going to be attaching something from Google Drive. And I'm going to type in colony here to find my document. And it was this sign up sheet. And if I wanted to have one of these for every classroom, I can click on this drop down and I could assign it to all my periods if I want to. In this case, I really just want this one class. And this is light gray. I wish it was bright red. This is really important. This is where I'm choosing what kind of attachment it is. So I've got my attachment. Do I want all the students to view this document? Like I said, great for doc, uh, rubrics and directions. In this case, I want students to edit the file. I want all students to be in this one specific document at the same time and I'm going to say assign. Now I'm logged in as myself here as a teacher. I'm going to jump over because I'm also logged in as a student. So you might need to hit refresh to see the assignment but now I'm logged in as a student and I can see I've got a colony project sign up and I can click on the document itself and it's going to take me to the screen that has two sides. Oh, no it's not. It's going to take me to the specific document. Um, and so now anybody in my class could be in here at the same time and it's a little crazy at first but they get used to it and then you can just have students come in and sign up for something. Now I'm going to jump back over to my teacher side and click on assignment and um, pros and cons slideshow. And here's where I would have students please create a slideshow. And I want to be think, uh, kind of thoughtful of this name because the name I put here as the assignment is going to be the name of the file as well. So I'm going to, um, we'll say this one's due next week. I still want it only for this one class. And I'm not attaching anything. Um, students are creating. So I can go ahead and hit assign. And while that's assigning, I'm going to jump back over to my student side and hit refresh. Now I see there's pros and cons, and it's an assignment, so I can click on it to open it. And here's where I have the two sides. One side is the instructions from my teacher, so it has the name of the what I'm supposed to do and any extra information. And then I can click on your work. So this said create, so I'm creating from scratch, so create. A presentation and from here I can complete that Google file and you can see it named it for me and it put my name because this is our test account on there as well and as soon as I open that and start getting to work my teacher can actually jump into anybody's work and see what they're working on before I even hit turn in so that's how I would create something from scratch let's jump back over to the teacher side and I'm going to click on assignment again and I've got something from Google cool. 
so if I have my directions, my rubric, and um, I've got that attached, so I can attach my rubric, and then in addition, I can. So I'm going to do two things at once here. I'm also going to. have students add something. So please, let's see, so this will be our colony add. Please read the rubric and directions attached. Then attach your video. So we'll say this one's due right before spring break. And I want students to view this file. They're not changing anything on the rubric and assign. We can jump back over to the student side. And right now I'm still in that assignment, so I can jump back and update. So now I'm back on the student side, and I see that there's a colony add assignment, and it has an attachment. So I'm going to click on colony add. And it takes me again to instructions. So here are the instructions. There's the attached directions and rubric here, and my work. So I can read through everything here, and then when I click on your work, I can add something. So I can add something from Google Drive. I can add a link. So maybe I uploaded a video, and I want to include that. Or as a student, I can also upload a file from my hard drive. And this is if I open this while I'm on my iPad or iPhone. Instead of my hard drive, it's it's really looking at my camera roll. So if I read the directions and see what I'm going to be graded on for my advertisement, then I can create it. And I would probably do this then on my phone. I would upload my file and turn in my advertisement. And then I could mark it as done. So let's jump back over to the teacher side one more time. So on the teacher side, I can see that I have one assignment done and zero not done. And tomorrow we can look at how to add comments and grade these. Um, I'm going to add one last assignment. So, so far we had students sign up for a colony assignment. Um, they created a slideshow with pros and cons. Then they made an advertisement. Hopefully by now they've had a chance to see each other's advertisements. And pick your colony. So I'm going to attach something from Google once again. Oh, I think I chose something there. Colony. Here we go. So here's my final summative piece that I want students to work on. And so I've attached a document, and this document I want students um, to have their very own copy. So I'm going to make a copy for each student and assign. Now, if I jump back over to our student side again, we can back out to the class. And here is my work. I can pick your colony. And this takes a little bit sometimes for the students to open it because it's actually creating a specific document for every specific kiddo. So here's the file. It named it. It added my name. And when I open this, I'm the only student that can be in that document at the same time, at that one time. And so you can create a template and students can answer their work here. And I'm going to bounce back over. So this was assignments. We looked at how students can add something they've already created or create something from scratch and on the teacher side we looked at how we could also attach a document that's view, edit, or create a copy for every kiddo. Thank you.